Today I want to talk about improving your exhaust system on a budget. What a lot of people don't realize is that the exhaust systems that these newer bikes come with aren't that bad to start with. But if you want to get a little bit more power out of them and make it sound better, there are a few tips and tricks you can go with. So for starters, this was my stock head pipe. It's made out of titanium, so it's actually very light. You can't actually save any more weight by getting a different head pipe. The Yamaha head pipes are already pretty darn good. Um, now what I did, <clears throat> since I'm on a budget, I, I went on eBay and I found a FMF Powerbomb unit for $30 used. The reason it was $30 is because this whole area here was completely crunched in, uh, about half the pipe was crunched in. So the person selling it thought it was completely garbage. What I did was, I took a gamble, since it was 30 bucks, I decided, eh, why not try out, try and fix it. So, <clears throat> I went to the hardware store, sorry, the auto parts store, and I got these freeze plugs. That I, I took the pipe in, found the freeze plugs that fit perfectly inside. And what happens is, is you tighten on the nut, the rubber expands because it squeezes it. So I put the freeze plugs in, Tightened it all up, put, filled it up with water, then I put the freeze plug in the other end, I stuck it in the freezer, and I watched it pretty carefully. Um, after the pipe had expanded, after the water had frozen, um, the big dent completely went away. So a uh, $300 pipe, or whatever these cost, new, uh, 30 bucks, and it's not tampering with the flow at all. I've tested this pipe out pretty thoroughly. I'm really happy with it. Out of the two types of exhaust, you have one that has a core and packing around it. And this actually has chambers or compartments. It also has a spark arrestor. If you have a stock pipe, don't throw it away because for about 30 bucks, you can make a pretty terrific pipe out of it. Um, first thing you need to do, if you pull these bolts off, first thing you're gonna see is a unit in there that's actually your end cap and it has a, a baffle. What a baffle is, is a compartment. So within the exhaust, you have several different chambers in there and the air as it's flowing, has to go through a hole, then it changes where it's going, goes through a different hole. These kind of exhausts don't ever have to be repacked. Um, and the last one on the stock pipe is this little tiny pea shooter. What you do is you, you can either completely remove it, but the air won't exit very clean. So you can go ahead, you can get an exhaust tip that fills up the diameter of that hole. It's a nice straight shot and the air will be able to exit cleanly. It'll make a lot more power and a bit more racket. These pipes have a series of these baffles. So there's actually three. One up at the front, one kind of toward the middle, then you have your spark arrestor and your end tip. And what you can do with these bikes, take off these end nuts and your spark arrestor and everything will come out the back. Go in with a punch or a chisel you can actually remove the middle baffle. So it changes it from your exhaust coming in, going up slightly, and then going back down to the back baffle, then up through the spark arrestor and through the tiny pea shooter. Now, the air comes in, it goes up slightly, it fills the whole chamber, it goes all the way to the back, goes out the spark arrestor and through that tip. It's pretty loud about like an aftermarket exhaust would be, but you never have to repack it. Um, it's pretty open, it has a spark arrestor, and all in all, the only thing you pay for is that end cap. And let's be honest, looks almost exactly like an FMF.